Okay, now we solve the second problem of the Hasse diagram. Okay, so the question is this that which elements of the Co set, Co set mean partial order set. Okay, Co set mean partial order set. Uh, here you are given the set already 2, 4, 5, 10, 12, 20, 25. So this is the set and divisibility is the relation. R maximal, R maximal, and which R minimal also find the greatest element and least element okay so uh, in the previous question uh, in the previous question we did not uh, find these elements but in this question we also want to find greatest element and least element okay so as divisibility is the relationship okay so uh, it, uh, it means that this is a partial order relation okay now First of all, you see that the very first element is 2. Okay? So just write 2 here. Okay? Now, next element is 4. So what is the relationship between 2 and 4? 2 divides 4. Okay? So 2 divides 4. So you join this 2 with 4. Okay? And in hierarchy, uh, 4 comes after 2. Okay? Because this 2, it is dividing 4. Now, you see, what is the next element? Next element is 5. Okay. So, does 2 divide 5? No. Does 4 divide 5? No. It means that 5 is at the same level as is 2. Okay. Because uh, 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 this element, okay, uh, this element is not divisible by 2 nor by 4. Okay. So, 5 comes here. Now, what is the next element? Next element is 10. So, in hierarchy, you write 10 here. Why? Because this 5 divides 10. But the thing is this that 2 also divides 10. Okay, so you we can join 2 with 10. Okay. Uh, does 4 divides 10? No. So there should not be any connecting line between 4 and 10. Okay. Now, next you see that what is the next element? 12. Okay. So 12 is here. Because 4 divides 12. Okay. 2 also divides 12. Okay. So, mean uh, uh, as this is the connecting path between 2 and 12, uh, it automatically means key 2 divides 12. You For that, you need not to draw any separate line. Okay. Now, next element is 20. Okay. So, you see that 10 divides 20. Okay. 10 divides 20. But check other elements also, 2 also divides 20. So, there is a path between uh, 2 and 20, this path. Okay. So, as, as we have path between 2 and 20, uh, it means that 2 also divides 20. Okay. Uh, what do you say about 4? 4 also divides 20. Uh, but there is no path between 4 and 20. So, what we do? We just join 4 by 2. I mean 4 with this 20. Okay. Now, next element is 12. But uh, 12 does not divide 20. Okay, so there is there should not be any connecting line between 12 and 20. Okay, what is the next element then? Next element is 25. Okay, so where should I place this 25 now? Okay, you see that 5 divides 25. Okay, so place 25 here. This 5 divides 20. Okay, does 10 divide 25? No. Does 20 divide 25? No. Does 4 divide 25? No other element divides 25. Okay. Now, we want to find maximal elements. I told you it in the previous example that what are the maximal elements. 
maximal elements they are always found at the top of the uh, Hasse diagram. Okay, so these are the elements which are not further connected to any element. Okay, these are the elements which are not connected to the any further elements. So the maximal elements here are 12, 20, and 25. Okay, now minimal elements. What are the minimal elements? Uh, minimal elements always found at the bottom of the Hasse diagram, and these are those elements, okay, uh, which are not connected below, below with any other element. Okay, so below uh, two and five, we do not have any element. So two and five, they are the minimal elements. Okay, now at two, five. 2 and 5 these are the minimal element now greatest element greatest element you see that uh, the greatest element is that element okay which is in relation with every other element and this element is found at the top of the Hasse diagram now you see that this 12 okay, this 12 is not greatest why because this is not in relation with 10 so uh, 12 is not the greatest element. Now 20, what do you say about 20? Is it the greatest element? If it is greatest, then it should be related with all other elements, okay? Or it should be in a relation with all other elements. But you see that 12 does not divide 20. So 12 is in not a relation with 20. So it means that 20 is not the greatest element, okay? 25, okay? If we consider this uh, element, okay, 25, so you see that 12 does not divide 25 and 20 also does not divide 25. So it means that there is no greatest element. Okay, no greatest element exists. Okay, greatest element is that element. Okay, uh, to which all the elements are in relation. Okay, if any element is greatest element then that element is always divisible by every other element okay now least least element least element is again found at the bottom okay but it is that element which is in relation with every other element so here you see that 2 is uh, at the bottom but 2 does not divide 25 okay 2 does not divide 25 as 2 uh, does not divide 25 it means that 2 is not in a relation with every other element okay similarly uh, other uh, uh, minimal element is 5 but you see that 5 this 5 okay this is not in a relation with 2 okay this is not in a relation with 2 so we have element which is not in relation with the, uh, this element of the set so that is why uh, here the least element also does not exist and no uh, least element exists. So this is the second example of Hasse diagram. Uh, we will uh, solve two or three more examples of Hasse diagram to give you uh, the idea how to find maximal element, minimal element, greatest element and the least element. So thank you very much student this is all from my side uh, in this video okay uh, so more will be discussed in the next video